12th, I'm actually sending this specifically to you, John. Uh, the, the one thing that I really wanted to do is uh, find something that I could talk to in a very uh, chill sounding like voice, if you will. And I think I actually found it. Uh, I found this article. I will send it to you once I'm done with this. And uh, here we go. Building rapport and engaging with people, whether it's it's in the person or online, takes practice. Much of it is based on intuition. Uh, it's about creating a bond, link, or connection, and understanding. That's like me and you. Uh, the goal is to connect with others and to get them thinking, feeling, reacting, and involved. It doesn't matter if you're in sales, business, or for work, or for someone else. Again, like you. Rapport building is an art and skill in communication that's used daily in all of our relationships. Here are 10 tips to help you get in sync with others and build rapport. Be approachable. In person, carry yourself in such a way that is easygoing, friendly, and confident. When you're online, have a welcoming and intriguing profile using the avatar of your smiling face. Ask good questions. People talk... People love to talk about themselves. Asking questions and paying attention to the answers helps you learn more about the other person and shows that you have a genuine interest in them. The key is your follow-up. And this is how they'll be able to know you're truly catching their details. You're truly catching them. Use their name. In person, the sweetest sound to anyone is the sound of their own name. Sprinkle it into a conversation. Online, using Twitter as an example, if the person's name is not on their handle, click their profile and get their name. It will only take a few seconds, but it sends the wonderful message as, I care, I took time to find out. Number four, understand that you can still have a rapport with someone even though you disagree. If you don't see eye to eye, you can be respectful and appreciate different op opinions. Communication and relationships are based on compromised, on compromise. With both in person and online communication, you don't have to agree. A simple acknowledgement is usually sufficient and appreciated. Stay upbeat. No one likes to be around a complaining negative victim. It's a awfully difficult to connect and engage with people who are leaking poison. Be known for your positive attitude and a willingness to help others. Yes, even strangers. Remember, easygoing and approachable. Discover the fine art of small talk. This will help in person and online, especially if you feel shy or nervous. Have a few conversation starters up your sleeve and in case you run into a snag, always looking for opportunities to connect with others. It can be something as basic as liking the same sports team, having the same kind of SUV, or ordering the same lunch. Focus on similarities, not differences. Notice how others handle information. That's all, that's on interpretation. This is especially important in live conversations. It may be at networking breakfast on Skype or a Ustream video. This is like this one yet again. Does the other person like the big picture or do they prefer the fine details? As you speak, feedback information is in, in the size they prefer. Nothing too big. This video might be a while. I don't know. I'm not sure. No. Number eight. Learn communication modalities. If someone is uh, a visual common communicator they will say things like looks good for to me or i get the picture an auditory person will be like that sounds good to me or listen to this pay attention to the cue clues the person drops you in person online and follow their modality it will bring a subliminal sense of comfort to them and instantly rip builds rapport these modulali mod modality clues will be evident in your live conversations and in social networking. This is called NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. Number nine, pick up favorite words and phrases in a subtle way. To ease, oh, in a subtle way, enterprise, interprest them into your conversation. This will help you build, help you bond. It is. It also brings a sense of comfort to the individual you're speaking with. 
in person or online. You know nothing about first person shooters. Watch and listen to people. Pay attention to those who you admire who seem to easily connect and engage with others. That's like you, John. You, you build rapport very easily. Whether it's in person or online, observe the conversation, posts, or tweets. What works for them? How do they break the ice and bond with others? How do people respond to them? Rapport is about making a two-way connection. How do you know what that's happened? You experience, you experience a genuine sense of trust and respect with another human being. You easily engage with them, regardless of how different you two may be. You feel like you are listening and being listened to. That's rapport.